reaction turbine now we shall see the working of reaction turbines the reaction turbine as the name suggests works on the principle of reaction force which is experienced by the turbine blades when water flow over them the first set of blades are fixed and they convert part of pressure energy of water into kinetic energy water then moves through the moving or the runner blades the moving blades have the shape of an aerofoil when water flows over them because of its shape there is a reduction in pressure along its blade its velocity also changes along the blade hence the water indirectly exerts a thrust force on the turbine blades this force rotates the turbine blades the rotation is thus partly due to an impulse on the moving blades due to the velocity of water and partly due to the change in pressure as the water flows under a pressure over the moving blades a closed casing is required in a reaction turbine in an impulse turbine the pressure along the blade is constant and atmospheric it does not play a role in creating the force so the casing in an impulse turbine is only to prevent the splashing of water the reaction turbine is used for medium head and discharge or low head and high discharge now of the commonly used reaction turbines are the francis turbine and the kaplan turbine francis turbine the main parts of the francis turbine are a volute casing guide vanes runner blades and a draft tube from the casing water passes through the guide vanes starter blades are arranged along the periphery to guide the water into the runner blades through the guide vanes water enters radially into the rotor blades the runner of the francis turbine has a special construction as mentioned before when the water enters radially it starts rotating because of the pressure difference created by the aerofoil structure during the process the entire pressure energy of water is converted into kinetic energy so the water after passing over the runner possesses low pressure the kinetic energy is also converted by the reduction in velocity when it flows over the blade it is the net pressure difference from the inlet to the outlet which determines the energy from the turbine to achieve a maximum difference the outlet pressure is kept very low sometimes less than the atmospheric this will prevent the natural flow of water from the outlet a draft tube corrects this water at the low pressure from the turbine flows through a tube called a draft tube this has a gradually increasing cross section so the pressure increases and the velocity decreases during the flow in the draft tube at the end of the draft tube pressure of water will be at nearly atmospheric pressure so this eliminates possibility of water going up from the reservoir to the turbine since the water enters radially and leaves the turbine axially francis turbine is also no called as mixed flow turbine the lower periyar project in kerala uses a three francis turbine of 20 megawatt each at a rated head of 184 meter kaplan turbine in kaplan turbine water enters through the casing and flow through the guide blades water enters into the runner blade portion axially the runner blades are designed in a specific aerofoil structure like in the francis turbine but the shape of the blade is a bit different the blades are a bit lengthy and curved water hits the runner blade and exerts a thrust on it this causes its rotation the water after imparting the energy then flows axially out of the turbine and into the draft tube this has the same function mentioned before kaplan turbine are usually used as a third stage turbine at low heads 
typically below 40 meters. It is used to extract the last bit of energy from water. Besides this, it is also used in ships for its propulsion. The Kallada project in Kerala uses two Kaplan turbines of 7.5 megawatt each at a headed rate of 45 meters.